What's going on? It is April 13th, 2018. And this is another video of me talking about music. Whoa. Alright, so... Today's been a great fucking day. This whole week's been awesome. And, you know, today I feel like switching up. Today's gonna be, you know, Talk Shit Friday. You know, I got, I got fire in my belly. I got some shit to say. You know, I worked hard. No, I'm just fucking around. But yeah, so today we're going to be talking about some reasons why people don't like your music. Alright, so first off, your grandma is a fan, but that doesn't count as a fan. Alright, that's your grandma. She's not, she loves you. Alright, so fans are really strangers. Strangers hitting you up, saying... I love your music, it's awesome, keep it up, you know, stuff like that. That's a fan, someone that has no connection to you, and they reached out to you. You know you have fans like that. Now, <clears throat> I see a lot of times, you know, people are upset that maybe their friends don't support their music and stuff. And I mean, when I was younger, I felt like that too, and it's whatever. But the reality is that they knew you growing up. They knew you before you became an artist or you started making music, whatever the case is. So, they see you in that light, too. It's not that they aren't supporting you. They want the best for you. It's just they have their own lives, too. So, that's some stuff people have to think about. I know it, it'd be great for tons of people to get together behind somebody in a community and push that artist forward, but... You know, it's just not how it works all the time. So you have to, instead of make excuses, come up with other ways to make a fan base. Alright, so that means getting on social media or start performing live. You have to be creative. That's Making music is not even the hard part in this case. It's, it's really just marketing. So the more creative you are with marketing and business, the better off you'll be with getting your music out there, alright? You need a great product too. That, don't forget that. So, first off, one reason people might not like your music is you don't have style. You're not bringing anything new to the table. Heard that. You know what I mean? It's just, it, there's no original concept or, and by original, keep in mind there's nothing new under the sun. I, I truly believe that, but what you're doing is... Taking an idea that's already been put out into the world and you're flipping it in, in, in your own way with, you know, so that's what style is in, in one sense. It's your personality. It's your character. It's, it's your, your attitude. It's how you carry yourself. So uh, that's one reason why people don't really maybe like your music. It's because you sound timid. You don't sound confident in what you're saying. You don't speak with conviction. You don't rap with conviction. You don't sing with conviction. You haven't practiced enough. Your practice your craft enough to to even have that foundation. You know you have to get over the insecurities. Whether it's you're judging yourself, you're worried about what people will think, etc. You have to get over that, and then from there, your style will start to to appear to the public and to the listeners. They'll hear that. It'll start to shine through in the recording because you've gotten over that first uh, obstacle, which is your mind. All right, so another cool thing to think about with style is you don't, if you don't write great lyrics, you're not a great lyricist, whether it's pop music, R&B, rapping, then make it at least catchy. Write great melodies. Songs will get stuck in people's head. You don't need the most sophisticated lyrics. You don't need profound lyrics. You, that's why most stuff on the radio you hear isn't... They say it's dumbed down, and I see how it is. But at the same time, it's catchy, you know? It, and people just want to feel good when they're at the bars, clubs, parties, on the beach, driving their cars. It doesn't matter, you know? They already have a lot of people. Everyone has problems in their life. They don't want to have to deal with more problems with the music. They want to have a chance to escape for a second. So it's 
writing great melodies, making it music, uh, musical, capturing musical feelings. All right, so now, what else I got written? Another reason why people don't like your music is because you're out of key. Uh, music theory. Basically, we have in, in music, Western music, we have scales. In all music, we have scales. But in Western music, we have like a major scale and a minor scale. And essentially, we're, you're being set with about seven notes, all right? And what you're doing is singing outside of these seven notes in, in a scale, all right? And when you're singing outside of that, that note unintentionally, it sounds random. It sounds out of place. It doesn't make musical sense. It might, that's how you make, for instance, horror music, like for a, a horror film. Uh, you would play stuff that's out of key because it creates tension, it creates chaos, and if that's the feeling you want to be going for. But not when you're making rap music, not when you're making pop music, not when you're making, you know, fun music. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so you want to be making sure that you're singing in key. So practice your scales. Make sure you're, you could download apps on your phone with uh, a piano app, or I'm sure there's even like vocal lesson apps on your phone. Just download it. Take 10, 15 minutes out of your day to just practice that. You could be driving in the car and playing it Bluetooth or something. You know, that way you can start developing your your confidence that goes back to the style but you if you don't really know you don't need to know what the notes are you don't need to know music theory but you know you need to have the feeling for it meaning you need to know it makes sense and if it doesn't make sense then it's going to throw the listener off it's good to know music theory by the way i'm just saying that you don't need to know it there's tons of great artists out there that don't even know what an e minor chord is but they can play it because they have the feeling of music. And that's all what matters. All right. So same with going with making beats. Uh, the, the bass is totally out of key from the rest of the music. It sounds muddy. It doesn't make sense. People are going to be like, yeah, it sounds good, man. Yeah. We need to give up, <laughs> you know. So you got to make sure that your music's in key, whether it's the bass, the, the instrumentation, what other instrumentation you have. You gotta be monitoring that vocally, same thing, singing in key, singing out of key doesn't make sense like I was saying. Uh, another reason why your, your songs aren't being liked by people, besides maybe uh, dad, is because, now dads would actually be like, this shit sucks. It's probably gonna be mom that's like, oh, I like it, you know, so... It is because the mix is terrible. The mix sucks. The, it, and that just, if the mix sucks, then you can't even enjoy the song most of the time, unless there's exceptional feeling, exceptional emotion to the song. You know, so, and I've, I've heard songs like that. Don't, uh, so they're, they're, they're out there. It's just that most of the time, songs are unlistenable if they have, or I don't know if that's a word, but you can't enjoy them if they have a, cr a crappy mix. That means maybe the vocals are too quiet. Yeah, you tr you have to lean in to try to hear the 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 vocals because the beat is just overpowering the 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 words. You know, maybe the vocals are way too loud, you can't even hear the beat. You know, that stuff will throw the listener off and they'll be thinking about is that supposed to sound like that instead of actually enjoying the song. Another thing is the beat doesn't knock. Now, you need the beat to knock meaning it sounds larger than life. It sounds full, it sounds clean. You know, depending on what you're going for, but the idea is that they should all have a, a full character that that could occupy its own space in the mix. Let's see what's another reason. All right, another reason is that people hate your music is because you don't have rhythm, you you don't have any groove. If you ha if the song has a groove, people will be attracted to it. They will like it. Groove is great. So rhythm meaning like I've heard I've worked with tons of rappers that uh, you know that are just starting out and it's okay. The but you know they're just starting out and they have they're all over the place with their flow. Like they're trying to scramble in a thousand words and, and sixteen lines, you know, it it's like whoa. 
calm down. Like they have no concept of breath control. That stuff's gonna be throwing you off big time. You need you need to develop breath control. So when you're writing, write with breath control in mind. Same with um, if you're trying to develop a groove, you have to understand what the music is telling you, is kind of showing you what to do. The music will guide you if you listen and you know what to listen for. So you just kind of sit back, let the music play, and then figure out that first line, and then after that you're on that wave. Okay? Uh, this is a big one. It's Most of the times people don't like Music is because they can tell if it's being it's authentic or not. If you're being you're being yourself or if you're being being someone you're not, you know? And an obvious not, you know. Maybe everyone has like a persona they could put on or whatever. But the idea is that if you're just totally bragging about a lifestyle you don't actually live, when it gets to that kind of point that's going to throw people off no matter what, you know, so <clears throat> you don't want it to sound forced, like, again, you're being somebody else, you're trying to just imitate another artist, uh, it sounds like the next artist, you know, it sounds like what's on the radio already, it's good to be influenced by that stuff, that's how music works, but what you don't want to do is just emulate them and just be exactly them, because there's already that out there, we don't need two of them, you know, think about it. So, and another great thing is like, what do you have to say? Speak your mind. Well, you know, everyone's got a voice, so use it. Be confident in your words. That goes back to having style. Uh, what kind of person, what kind of personality do you have? You know, especially if you're going to be an artist and a, you want to be a top artist. You want to be, a, at least have a developed fan base. You want to be able to, you want to bring your listeners up. You want to make them feel like they're they're awesome too. You know what I mean? Like that's the attitude you got to have. So that's some cool stuff to think about. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I'm ready to drink some beer, and I will talk to you on Monday.